Hello, today we are presenting the Idea Statica detail application for concrete. But before we do that, let's go ahead and show you all the different applications available for you. If you are working with steel, we do have the connection and the member application. Within connection, you are able to model any geometry from simple to complex, run the analysis, and the results can be code checked against AIC and ACI formulas so that you are able to get your component checks for your bolts, wells, anchors, and much more. Within the member application, this is more for a single member or a small frame analysis. This application is able to help you model member openings, eccentric loadings, look at stability issues, and running buckling analysis. Now for concrete, detail will be our main focus for today's presentation. And we do have two options. Those are detail 2D and detail 3D. For detail 2D, you are able to analyze and design concrete walls, D regions, D beams, and many more while applying in plane loadings. As part of the results, we do provide concrete checks, reinforcement checks, serviceability checks, such as crack width, short and long-term deflection. For Detail 3D, this is a powerful new application with its first use case being anchoring so that it can help you complete your full base plate design workflow. You will be able to design casting plates and post-installed anchors with the consideration of reinforced concrete. And of course, Anchorage reinforcement can also be considered in the analysis. Now, what we mean by this complete workflow for base plates? Basically, Idea Statica is integrating both its connection application and detail application all together so that you can complete your workflow. You will start in connection application to design your base plate and anchors, but if your anchors fell in unreinforced concrete, you can simply click the RC check button and all the details are exported automatically to the detail application. Those details include your force results, plate geometry, anchor position, and concrete geometry. All of this information is transferred so that you are able to focus on what's important. And that is adding your reinforcement and running and reviewing your results. Now, these are more use cases as part of Detail 2D to be able to show you what the program can handle and what it can really do. Some more of the use cases here are your walking columns, pier caps, openings for fill fixes or MEP reasons, coupling beams, and much more. Now let's go ahead and go over to the application so that we can be able to show you a live demo. All right, we'll start by showing you the integration between connection and detail 3D. In this example, we'll start with this model and we've already ran the analysis for it. On the left-hand side, we can see that everything is passing except the anchors. And on the right-hand side, we can always see those detailed results for every single anchor. Even more, we can always expand this window to see all the different formula checks for every single anchor, and from there, find out what was making this anchor fail. Now, after this, you are given either two options. The first one, you can result to the manual supplementary reinforcement for these anchors, or the second one, you can use the integration between connection and detail 3D to take care of that anchor reinforcement. In the second case, all you have to do to be able to do this anchor reinforcement or this additional supplementary reinforcement is to just click on this RC check button. Whenever you click this RC check button, you will be allowed to save your file as a new detail file. This new detail file will already be converted and sending all this information directly to our detail application. So once you've saved it, this new file will open automatically in a new window within the detail application. Now within this new imported file, we can see that a lot of information is brought over from connection. You get the concrete geometry, your base plate geometry, your anchor position, and most importantly, you get the results for your analysis. If we look here on the right hand side on our tree of operations, we can see that we're bringing all the different load case scenarios. When we click on every single one, we can zoom in and we can see all the different forces that are brought over. These detailed results allows us to be able to see these forces a lot better and to be able to observe the stresses more accurately. Now, once you brought all this information here into the detail application, all that is left to do is for you to be able to finalize one, your concrete geometry, and second, your reinforcement. So if we move forward to a more detailed model, 
In this case, we converted our regular concrete geometry into a combination of a pedestal with a spread footing detail. You can do this all through different operations that are offered to you in the detail application to be able to get that geometry. Once it's ready, you can then add the different reinforcement that is needed for both your spread footing and your pedestal. So we start to take a look at the different reinforcement that can be done. As you can see here, we have the reinforcement for the spread footing, and we can begin adding the different reinforcement for that pedestal. So those ties, the different main bars that are going to be added. And if you're working with adding the anchor reinforcement, you can also start doing that here in the application. Now, once you have all of those reinforcement, you can see the full reinforcement by turning on the rebar feature. And as you can see, all the reinforcement has been added to the model. And all that is left to do is to analyze your model. There's no need to input loads because all the different results have already been passed over from connection application. Now, once we run our analysis, we can always head on to the check tab. And from here, we can start looking at the results. Just like connection, on the left-hand side, you will always obtain your summary of your results. In this case, the summary is based on the concrete, reinforcement, and the anchorage. So we're looking at the strength checks along with the anchorage checks. So the first part of the results here that we're looking at, these are part of your summary results. We're looking at the stress flow for the concrete and also the stress flow for the reinforcement. If we want to look at those different results in detail, we can always move to the different tabs that are offered for us. If we want to look at the strength check for both the concrete and reinforcement, we can click on the strength tab. And on the right hand side, we have the option for both of those. Now, when we're looking at the strength for the concrete, we can always turn on our compressive forces that are being developed along the entire model. But looking around the forces is not enough. And that is because you are not able to visualize the internal forces. And that is why we have created the section view. By turning on the section view, you can see what is really happening inside the model at those high concentrated areas. As part of your results for your reinforcement strength checks, you can always also see these checks as part of your results. Now we want to look at further more results for our anchors. We can then move on to the anchorage check to be able to see results such as your force being developed along the bar and those bond stresses that are being developed along the bar. Now here for the results, we're looking at the total forces being developed and the different colors shows how we can read both compression and tension for the reinforcement. Now, once you have verified that your anchors are passing with both the concrete reinforcement and the anchorage reinforcement, you're ready to go into the report tab. So to do that, we can just click on the report tab at the top. And from there, we can go ahead and customize our report. As you can see on the right-hand side, we have different options for you to add or remove as part of your report. And from there, you can print it out. Now, once you print out your report, you will basically be done by finalizing your entire workflow by having your full steel and concrete checks available for you all within the idea static application. Now let's go ahead and review detail 2D for ACI. In this case, we're starting with the detail application and from there we can choose the 2D option. When choosing the 2D options, you are given different templates that you can choose from, whether you're working with a simple section or a complex section such as D regions, MEPs or RFIs, detail 2D is able to tackle those. Now, if we don't have a template that suits your needs, you can always choose a general geometry and start from scratch. In our case, we will go ahead and show you a deep beam with opening so that you can see what all is needed for you to be able to model, analyze, and review your results. So to get started, all you have to do is start with the geometry. So in our case, M1 is our geometry, and O1 is the opening that we're creating. After you set your geometry, you then want to add your boundary conditions. For your boundary conditions, you have options for support, such as line supports, point distributed, or bearing plates. You also have options for transfer devices, whether you're adding anchors, bearing plates, or other options. Once you have added your geometry and your boundary conditions, you can then move on to the reinforcement. For the reinforcement, on the right-hand side, you have different options that you can choose from. 
And if we go to a 3D real view, we will be able to see more details of our reinforcement. If I start with GB1, I can see the different group of bars that I'm setting, as well as the different layers and bars that I'm setting for each and every single layer. By adding different group of bars, I can select different spacings and different locations for the reinforcement to be located at. The same thing goes with the cages. I can add a cage around my entire section or a cage around my opening. By having this flexibility of reinforcement, you ensure that you have the correct detailing of your reinforcement so that your model analysis is accurate. So I will go ahead and go back to 2D view so that we can review the load cases and the load combinations for the model. If we start with the load cases, as you can see, you can define many different load cases. And in our example, we're starting with dead load for a line loading, light load for a concentrated loading, and wind loading for lateral load application. Once you have added your different load cases, you can then move on to your different load combinations that will allow you to check for strength in the concrete, reinforcement, and an added analysis within detail 2D is the option for subversibility checks. For subversibility checks, you can look at crack width and deflection for short term and long term. So once you have all your load combinations set and ready, you can then calculate your model so that you can be able to look at the results. Once you have run your analysis, you will notice that in the top left corner, you have the summary of your results. But if you want to observe the detailed results, you can then move on to the check tab. On the check tab, the first thing that we see is a summary check. So in here, we can see things such as a stress flow for your compression and your tension regions. If we want to see the detailed strength checks for the concrete and the reinforcement, we can then go to the upper tab and under the code check results, we can find the strength checks. And for concrete, the type of results that we can find are your utilization checks for the concrete strength, as well as the compressive forces that are being developed on the entire section. For the reinforcement, similar results can be expected by looking at the utilization and the different stresses in the reinforcement. Now, if we want to take a look at the anchorage checks, the type of results that we can expect here are the bond stresses and the total force that are being developed along the bar. If we look at our serviceability checks, we can see that we have the option of looking at the crack width for the entire sections, and we can always see the most extreme locations as well. For the deflections, we can see the short-term and long-term deflections, as well as taking a look at the deform shape so that we can ensure that the model is deforming as it should, which can also help ensure that the model is correct. Now, once you have verified your analysis and your results, you can then move on to the report tab. Here on the report tab, on the right-hand side, you have different options to choose from so that you can be able to edit the type of report that is being generated. With this generated results, we can see the type of formatting that we provide. We provide it with all the input, the loadings, your summary of your results, and from there, we can move on to the detailed results for every single aspect of the checks, whether we're looking at the strength or the reinforcement. 